The story begins when Achan, Kenken, and Mario are aggravated because the newcomer who is our main protagonist, called Sakamoto, is getting everyone's attention. All of Sakamoto's school activities are done stylishly and elegantly. Achan's gang fixes a board eraser by the door. Some students try to confront them, but they're brushed off easily. Sakamoto opens the door but catches the eraser before it falls on him. Upon seeing this his classmates cheer for him. The group follows him to the toilet. They attempt to pour a bucket of water over him but Sakamoto surprisingly has an umbrella to cover himself. When he returns to class he notices his desk is missing. His classmates offer to share their seat with him but he chooses to pose stylishly by the window. The group is disappointed so they decide to go violent for real. A student informs Sakamoto that the teacher wants him in the science room so he makes his way there. Inside, he's met by Achan's gang. They take turns to suggest how to humiliate him. Achan decides to take a picture of Sakamoto looking scared. However, their cigarette catches fire, and in panic, they discover that they are trapped in the room. Everyone panics except for Sakamoto who keeps his cool. He then begins stepping close to the fire repeatedly. The group thinks he is trying to put out the fire with his moves so they join him. But Sakamoto was simply making noises so the teachers below would notice. He takes the blame for the incident and leaves the group behind. However, they now see him in a different light. The next day, Sira shows the ladies his modeling pictures in a magazine but sadly they're not interested. He notices that Sakamoto is the center of attention so he plots to crush him. During classes, Sakamoto stands to answer a question. When he tries sitting, Sira removes his chair but Sakamoto doesn't fall down as expected. He makes another try during P but Sakamoto dodges all his attacks. During classes, a hornet comes in through the window. Sira thinks this is an opportunity to play hero. There's a commotion. The girls lock the boys inside to handle the situation. The teacher tells the class that bees are attracted to dark moving objects so they remove their uniforms. Sira mans up to attack the bee that has perched itself on Sakamoto's hair but he shakes it off, and the bee moves to attack Sira so Sakamoto intervenes. He engages the bee in a fierce battle and succeeds in sending it outside. The entire class cheers for him in amazement yet again. Sakamoto notices Kubota paying for protection, so he approaches him. Kubota asks for his help saying he lied to get the money. Sakamoto finds a job for them in an eatery. Sakamoto is made to work in the register because of his good looks, while he becomes a cleaner. The restaurant suddenly becomes busy as Sakamoto looks attract all the ladies. At the end of his first day, Kubota takes a liking to the job. The next day, his bullies come to the restaurant so he tries to hide, but they notice him and tell him to meet them up at the park later. At the park, he gives them the money but changes his mind, so they beat him up but he doesn't give in. However, Sakamoto arrives at the scene. He bullies the bullies and urges Kubota to do the same which he gladly obliged and they end up running for their lives. In class everyone is crazy about Aina, but she only has eyes for Sakamoto so she decides to get close to him. She tries a different approach but he doesn't fall for any of them. She tries to play a game called Kakuri with him, however. Some girls also hoping for Sakamoto's attention offer to join her. She isn't pleased with the interruption but she has no choice but to let them play while Sakamoto observes. During the game, they let go of the coin which is forbidden. The spirit of the game then possesses Sakamoto. They beg it to leave, so it tells them to build a sacred arch for it, or else it takes Sakamoto's body to the wild. The girls argue but later put aside their differences to work together to build the arch. The Kakuri spirit then leaves his body. The three girls befriend each other and Sakamoto reveals himself to be acting in order to get them to settle their differences. The senior year students make Achan their errand boy, however they have included Sakamoto as an errand boy too. They call for Sakamoto who delivers their needs in a fast and cool way. Kubota informs him that he is being used, but Sakamoto believes he has to obey his elders. Marayama the leader continues calling for him to run errands but Sakamoto seems to have a solution for every problem. He polishes his shoes, gives him massages, shaves his beard, and trims his nails. Marayama decides to order Sakamoto to serve him of his own volition. Sakamoto begins appearing out of the blue whenever. He gets frightened by Sakamoto's weirdness and hides to avoid him. Even during hiding, Sakamoto is there to torment him with kindness. At the cafeteria, Achan is shocked to see him buying his food himself. Sakamoto tells Kubota that he was dismissed by Marayama. Sakamoto tutors Kubota at home. He tells him to hide when he notices his mom coming into the room. This is because his mom is in love with Sakamoto. As he happens to fail his test, he asks Sakamoto to help him study. They go over to his house where Sakamoto offers her a gift. At that moment, she falls in love at first sight and begins doting on him. His mother notices Sakamoto is still in their house and searches for him while he avoids her in every way. She continues her obsession with him but gives up when Sakamoto fakes his exit. She settles for watching a TV series with an actor that looks like Sakamoto. 
The gym teacher is furious because Sakamoto always arrives at school at the last moment, so he tries to dig up dirt on him. He sees Sakamoto with a Chan's gang and thinks he must be smoking cigarettes, but he finds them blowing bubbles instead. He catches Sakamoto playing with brooms but it turns out he was removing dust from the ceiling. He continues with his plot during lessons. He watches Sakamoto eating so he tells him to stand in the hall. He feels great for finally scolding him. He goes to peek at him only to realize he deliberately faulted so he could feed a dying sparrow outside. During art class, everyone tries to choose him as a partner but Aina wins. They draw each other but when he shows her his work, Sakamoto draws her as an orangutan. She's disappointed, however, when the portrait is tilted, she comes out as an angel. There's a fire outbreak in the school so all the students assemble outside, except for a Chan. Sakamoto goes in to rescue him. He lets him out through the window like a damsel, and he then proceeds to dive out of the building with a custom-made parachute. Later, a Chan's group makes a pitfall and hides to see who'll fall victim. Sakamoto passes by and the pitfall collapses. They go to help him out but Sakamoto isn't inside. After searching for him for three days, they go to Kubota for help. He tells them they are the ones being played by Sakamoto. They decide to go around asking for a student walking in his uniform but everyone tells them they saw him. However, it turns out that it was several days ago. In the evening, they go back to the park to lament about Sakamoto's disappearance. They notice a child fall into the pit but comes out on his own. They go to observe it. But they notice Sakamoto's button in the hole which has transformed into an endless pit. Achan thinks the hole is a portal to Brazil and that was where Sakamoto went so he dives in. Meanwhile, Sakamoto has always been around but in a different outfit. He goes to the laundry place to get his uniform jacket back. Sakamoto finds a Chan sobbing in the hole as he is delighted that Sakamoto is safe. During softball practice, Kubota stays far away from Sakamoto but his throw gets to him and hits him on the face, causing a nosebleed. Sakamoto helps him stay upright but the nosebleed doesn't stop so he rips his shirt to stop the bleeding, and the girls can't stop admiring his exposed build. The delinquent second year led by Hayabusa stumbles on a group of girls fanning over Sakamoto. Marayama gets traumatized after seeing Sakamoto again and tells Hayabusa to stay away from him. But Hayabusa is more interested now. He goes to Sakamoto's class to confront him and tells Sakamoto to lend him his face so he misunderstands and makes a cast of his face and hands it to him. The girls pounce on him to obtain the cast of Sakamoto's face so he smashes it and tells Sakamoto to meet him after school. Hayabusa's lackeys decide to make sure Sakamoto shows up so they take his shoes and other properties, leaving a note each time that says he can get them back from Hayabusa. Frustrated that Sakamoto finds a way around each situation, they shave Kubota's hair to anger him. He goes to meet Hayabusa, but as they are about to fight an officer stops them. Sakamoto tells him they were only playing a game of push sumo, and to everyone's surprise, the officer offers to be the referee, to which they accept and begin. The battle starts with Sakamoto doing a faint move. Hayabusa gets serious but Sakamoto counters him. The fight keeps up for a while so his underlings decide to help him win but he stops them. He tells them he'll rather die than win with an underhanded method. Sakamoto unleashes a special move, so Hayabusa continues his attack. Sakamoto pushes him into a taxi that suddenly appears. He reveals the special move was to call the taxi. They apologize to Sakamoto but he takes them to apologize to Kubota instead. They offer him some packages as an apology so Kubota's mother makes dinner for the group. Sakamoto's class rep has a crush on him, but she settles for secretly taking pictures of him. When observing the pictures, she notices he is being followed by a poltergeist. She moves to tell him but stops because she'll have to show him the pictures she has been secretly taking. The ghost pushes a mopping tool behind him but Sakamoto rides it stylishly along the hallway. Later, she approaches him, asking if he was experiencing anything strange. Sakamoto begins talking about completely normal things. But that moment, they notice something in the bathroom sink. She freaks out on seeing the black hair but Sakamoto quickly picks it up to use as an extension for Kubota's growing hair. She decides to tell Kubota about the situation. He tells her that Sakamoto accepts everything as normal and encourages her to open up to him. Later, she finds Sakamoto playing but sumo, so she takes out her camera and captures the moment. When she checks the photos, she observes that the ghost was trying to pass a message. She quickly prints them out and runs to him to show him that the ghost is trying to tell him she likes him. Sakamoto tells her to help him out, but she doesn't know what for. She goes in to see him making copies of his face to make a response for the ghost. The copies are blown away along with Kubota's extension and after that day, the ghost doesn't show up in her pictures anymore. A Chan's gang is not allowed into the adult section to rent an 18 plus CD. As they plan on a strategy, Sakamoto comes in to rent a normal movie for his assignment. They notice him, so they quickly get the movie he was hoping to rent. 
they tell him to help them rent theirs in exchange for getting back his desired movie. Sakamoto agrees to the deal so he takes off his uniform jacket. Sakamoto manages to enter the room, shortly after he comes out with numerous CDs. They direct him on the route to avoid being caught. The plan goes smoothly but Aina notices him and immediately alerts the other girls. Sakamoto quickly put aside the forbidden CDs and dances to distract them before taking the discs to the counter. At the counter, the boss comes to question him upon seeing he has the explicit videos with him. Sakamoto successfully passes himself as an adult. He shows his expensive watch to throw the clerk off his game so he gives up. Outside he hands Achan the CDs and leaves, but the group feel guilty because Sakamoto was only renting them so they end up returning them. At school, Sira plots with some students to make Sakamoto fail during sports. During the bread race, they intentionally tire his bread tighter. As the race begins, Sakamoto takes the lead but his bread is too tight so he stays hanging. He begins rolling until he breaks free. He then shares his bread with the other competitors who could not get theirs down. During the next game, Sakamoto climbs to the top of the tower, but they intentionally make him lose balance. However, he also takes advantage of the situation to make himself look super cool. The schemers decide to give up, but Sira doesn't accept it. During the next race, Sira ties his lace wrongly making him trip. Sakamoto decides to run like a four-legged animal and he succeeds in covering the gap. He abuses delinquent group gathers to talk about the festival. Achan suggests inviting Sakamoto but Marayama poses. As they talk about Sakamoto, a new face appears out of the blue and interrupts the conversation. He is Fukase, their leader who had been out of town, and he bullies the group until they tell him about Sakamoto. Sakamoto's classmates also prepare decorations for the cultural festival. But some slackers make fun of their effort while Sakamoto tries to bring out the beauty in their effort. The slackers get super mad and leave the class, and outside they are approached by Fukase. Later that day, the girls find that their decorations have been ruined. Sakamoto is declared wanted and pasted all around the school. He is framed for ruining the decorations by the slackers. Sakamoto is chased by a mob because there is a reward on his wanted poster. He runs into the theater where he is cornered, but Hayabusa's group arrives just in time to save him. Later they explain to Sakamoto that Fukase is a senior who is in his mid-30s after failing grades. They explain that he makes up games whenever he comes to school, and the games are meant to erase whoever he has his eyes on, which is him this time. Sakamoto goes back to class but the slackers make everyone suspect him. He leaves and comes back to expose the slackers as the real culprit. They try to sabotage the decorations plan but Sakamoto helps to demoralize them, and they later confess to their crimes. The class has fun together and Fukase's plan ends in ruin. The teacher tells Kubota's mother that his grades have improved. He points out that it must be the influence of Sakamoto who has become his friend. The next day, Kubota has a cold so he doesn't go to school. His mother is excited that Sakamoto is within her reach again. She dresses up in Kubota's uniform and goes to school so he can be close to Sakamoto. She admires his every move. During PE, Sakamoto runs like Darwin's evolution theory. The gym teacher is impressed that Kubota can keep up with Sakamoto's speed, as he doesn't know it's not Kubota. She tries to get close to Sakamoto but trips. She goes back to class to get changed but the boys notice her chest area. They try to make fun of her thinking she is Kubota but Sakamoto successfully creates a distraction. But eventually she gives up on her act and goes home to care for her son. It's Christmas holiday but Sakamoto is seen doing volunteer work. Some men invite him to a mixer, however, he doesn't know what that means, so they reveal to him that it's a social gathering, and he agrees to go with them. During the mixer, they all introduce themselves as college students. The ladies notice Sakamoto's high school uniform so they tell them he is doing a cosplay to cover up his age. As the group talks about their goals, Sakamoto tells them he is interested in NASA research. The guys suggest a game, but Sakamoto slowly becomes the center of attention yet again. One of the guys, called Ryu, then decides to go for the singing approach so the girls shift their attention to him, and the other guy gets jealous so he stops the music. Sakamoto takes initiative by playing the arm saxophone. Now the guys realize he is their real competition. They order drinks for everyone. They get Sakamoto a very cold drink that will affect his voice but he doesn't realize it, and they tell him to sing so he would humiliate himself. Sakamoto chose a classical song. As he sings he draws the attention of women from across the room. Sakamoto decides to leave because the room has become overcrowded. All the ladies follow him out leaving the two dudes behind. Hayabusa begs Sakamoto to teach him how to act in a French cuisine. He says it's impossible to learn on such short notice so they come up with a plan. Hayabusa's father hopes to create a good impression before his potential bride. At the cuisine, he is able to act accordingly because Sakamoto is pulling the strings from inside his jacket. 
things go south when the waiter serves them escargot. Hayabusa is irritated by snails but for the sake of his family, manages to pull through. After the dinner, he gives his dad some alone time with his date. He works around town but is surprised to find his father and his date being harassed by thugs. Sakamoto tells him he shouldn't display violence in front of the lady so they switch positions. He helps Sakamoto beat up and scare away the thugs. It's winter, Sakamoto tells Kubota that this is his first time seeing snow. A Chan on hearing this, decides to teach him how to play with snow. They start with mapping their bodies on the snow and later he is taught how to make a snowman. He learns extremely fast which makes a Chan jealous. Fukase appears and advises him to challenge him to a one-on-one -on -one snowball fight. They begin the battle, however, a Chan is overwhelmed by Sakamoto's skills. After a while, a Chan rushes in to break the draw but is defeated by Sakamoto, who throws at him hand warmers to fight the cold. And in the end a Chan walks home and cries in frustration. The next day, the class rep displays all the photos she took during the session and the girls fight for copies of Sakamoto's elegant pictures. The Chan is still depressed about his fight with Sakamoto so he stops hanging out with his gang. Later, he sits alone to admire his picture, and Fukes comes to instigate him towards Sakamoto yet again. It's graduation day, and Sakamoto is allowed to make a farewell speech to the graduating students. To begin, he knocks down a ball that had been stuck on top of the gym and offers it to the student as a memento. He then proceeds with his speech. A can comes in with a bat. He heads towards Sakamoto as he threatens anyone who tries to stop him. He tries to attack but Sakamoto turns his attack into a farewell lesson. For every one of his attacks, he fails painfully. Sakamoto leads him up the gallery but he continues with his attack and falls. Sakamoto catches him midway, but he tells Sakamoto to let go of him, hitting him continuously but Sakamoto doesn't let him go. He succeeds in passing off everything as part of his presentation so he gets a standing ovation for his performance. Hayabusa decides to confront Fukase who doesn't want to graduate but Sakamoto introduces them to a better idea. They perform an embarrassing act on Fukase in front of the entire school. Sakamoto bids the class farewell as he has been invited to participate in a NASA project. The entire class bids him farewell by having a pie fight. He dodges them all to make way for his exit. And this brings the anime to an end. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on another video. Until next time, take care.